Welcome to ClickSweeper. In this training video, we will be demonstrating how to link a Google AdWords account to a Google Merchant account and how to set up a campaign for product listing ads. The first step is to link your Google AdWords account to your Google Merchant account. To do this, you will need both pages up and your Google AdWords customer ID. Your customer ID can be found at the top right corner of the page when you log into your Google AdWords account. Go ahead and log into your Google Merchant Center account. Once you've logged in, select the Settings option from the menu on the left, and under that, click AdWords. Scroll down and you'll find a field where you can enter your AdWords customer ID. Go ahead and enter it and press the Link Account button. Now you're all set. Once you have your Google Merchant Center and Google AdWords account linked, the next step is to create a new standalone campaign that will run your product listing ads and manage bidding by product level. Now head to your Google AdWords account. You will want to create a new campaign. Select Search Network Only. From the Campaign Setup screen, choose Product Listing Ads for the campaign type. Scroll down and select all your desired settings until you reach the bottom. Here, you will need to enter a default bid and a daily budget. Below that, it will ask you for the correct extension. Select the correct one, then save and continue. Next, set an ad group name and fill out the optional promotion field. The promotion field is meant for any types of sales promotions you would like the customer to be aware of. From the auto target section, uncheck the all products box. A prompt will appear stating that this ad group isn't quite ready yet and that you must have product targets for your product listing ads to run. Go ahead and save your ad group. By default, if all products is checked, Google would create an ad group targeting all products in the feed file with one bid price. That means there is no control on managing bid prices by product level. Once you've saved your ad group, you will be automatically led to the Auto Targets page. Click the Add Product Target button, and then you can add a product target. First, select an attribute. Then enter the attribute value from the Google Merchant Center feed file. Once you've done that, click the Validate button. Repeat it until you finish adding all your products. Google provides six different attributes, and you can choose ID or AdWords labels to manage bids by individual product level. If you want to manage bidding by group of products, AdWords grouping can be the best option. Keep in mind that these values must match the values in your Google Merchant Center feed exactly. To utilize AdWords labels and AdWords grouping, your product feed file must have the optional attribute columns with values. Once you've saved, you can now see the list of all products with individual bid fields, and you are now ready to manage bidding for product listing ads by product level. ClickSweeper also displays product listing ads by product, and if you run ROI driven bidding, you will have full control on managing product listing ads by product level. That concludes this presentation. Thank you for watching from the ClickSweeper team.